just going to go to file and save that and actually just before we look at textures I'll just show you how we can extract a bit of information off this mesh so I'll just choose a displaced mesh then I'll add an edit poly a modifier to it um, choose the border the edges Shift move that down. And just a few align that. Uh, not sure if that's a bit wonky. Let's have a quick look. No. It's just a viewport thing. But I am going to cap, just cap that bottom there now. And I should have a, like a solid volume really here now. But one which I can change without altering the number of vertices in it. And this is going to be quite useful if we um, just uh, just move that over there. A bit crowded here. But if we go to utilities and measure, it's for example um, measuring the volume here of our mesh here. So you can see um, because the number of vertices aren't changing and it's still it's still a, like a closed volume. Um, you can you can see how much um, earth we've moved. I suppose we we haven't, you know. But if we were to to build the um, build this project with with the alterations to the site that we're proposing here, you'll be able to work out roughly how much um, uh, how much earth we're going to have to move. Too late for me to do the maths right now, but you can see how you can do that. Now the other thing we could we can also do with this mesh is if I just if I just get rid of that edit poly now you've seen how you can do that um, we can we can um, extract contour data off our, our newly altered terrain here and the way we do that is we choose um, a shape a section see as we move up it'll draw a new section for us so you'd probably have to use a, a slightly denser um, set of contour lines than, than we had before I think before it was uh, every half meter and uh, they'll they'll need some clearing up but um, you can you can then send these straight back to uh, AutoCAD um, where you're basically at a certain level say four meters here you can create a shape I'm just going to delete that section and hide the displaced mesh so just go to file export export selected and we would use a, a TWG We'll just browse to the um, project directory. Hang on, I forgot my, my uh, Dropbox here, sorry. Um, it is in Documents, my Dropbox. Oh, I'm trying to find the, the project folder here, House by the Sea. Um, AutoCAD we 
just open up that contour and look at it in the top viewport. Copy it to the clipboard. We can open our original drawing. Paste it in. Oh, I actually want to and paste to original coordinates and you can see there uh, it's following very closely the um, original line it is slightly different because we we, we took it off um, uh, the displaced mesh but you can see there's there's not really that much deviation here um, and it's given us a new contour level so you could, if you did that for every level I think that would be um, well I certainly find that quite useful information to um, uh, share back to the whoever's um, the landscape architects that I work with for example okay so I, I think I, I just wanted to show you those two things quickly and I, I think now we'll move on to looking at um, texturing this so I'm gonna go um, I'm not gonna save over that I am gonna reset though I don't want to save any changes I really do want to reset and remember it's going to open my max start file with the V-Ray light and all my V-Ray settings in the settings in here which is um, uh, th those are basically now I want to do my texturing in this file so I need to bring in um, a few objects now I could um, I could XREF in the object the terrain object or I think what I'm going to do is um, just merge it in so I'm going to go to import merge Displacement scene 2, and I'm going to merge in displaced mesh. There we go. And I'm going to go to references, XREF scene, add the villa model. And again, I can turn that on and off. this is ready to um, it does look when you when you zoom out it does look like the mesh is is intersecting here but it's, that's a viewport thing it is it is underneath there it's just when you zoom out it has a, a slight problem there but don't worry about that um, so now I can start texturing this let's check that's all rendering fine patient enough to wait for that to finish but it certainly looks like it's all rendering fine the mesh has come in okay and the house is just uh, it looks to me like all the materials are correct it would have warned me anyway if it hadn't found any texture maps but um, okay so I've got my lighting set up um, which is just my standard scene that I use for pretty much everything and um, I've got the terrain in here now so this would be the file which I will now texture and render so I'm gonna file save as uh, I normally call um, the, the working scene the master scene especially if you're having lots of xrefs put into there um, so that's what we're going to call this file and this is the file we'll, we'll do all our texturing and rendering from So I'm going to go to my layer manager and hide the villa. I just want to work with the uh, the mesh that we're texturing here. I'm going to go to the material editor, and I'm going to choose a V-ray material. Um, but underneath this material, I'm only I'm, I'm doing all of the um, the uh, material in a map really, I'm not using any different sorts of materials for this. So you could put this map into um, into any kind of material. Uh, uh, a standard material or a, a mental ray material so it wouldn't make any difference the workflow would be the same um, inside this diffuse uh, slot here I'm going to start off with a mix 
and I'm going to name these to make these a little easier to, to work with. And this is going to mix between the beach and uh, the hill. So the uh, the the, um, the color down here. Um, well, actually, let's put let's put the map in, which is going to control how this is mixed. A bit more intuitive to do it that way around. We're going to use a gradient. I'm going to use a gradient ramp actually, and uh, we're going to click this over to uh, map channel two, and we're going to turn off real real world scale. And so on top of the displace on this object, we're going to we're going to put a UV map on for that. So we'll put a UVW map on. We're going to use map channel two, and we're going to turn off real world scale. And um, let's show that map in the viewport. We need to apply the material, of course. So it's it's putting the gradient um, across. It's starting to look a bit like the uh, material applied for the when we were creating the displacement. Um, we're gonna we're gonna align the map this way and fit it. So that's in X. Um, so you can see again white at the top of the hill, uh, at the top of the terrain, and black at the bottom. Um, but we have we have quite a definite um, line uh, or changeover between the beach um, and the hill, and that that's at zero meters sea level, I guess. Um, so to find that easily, we we're just going to uh, I'm going to change the interpolation of this gradient here from linear. I'm just going to click it over to solid. Um, I'm going to change this to a, oh that's a white color. I'm going to change this to a white color. And you can see as I move this up and down, it will start uh, to move it up and down on the terrain. Uh, so I need it to be at um, uh, zero, really. Actually, no, that's wrong because zero is where the water meets um, meets the beach. So this needs to be um, actually needs to be a little bit higher up the beach. Um, so it would actually be at this this point here that I'm tracing. So this would be beach down here, and then above would be the hill. So we can just move the gradient. We can just move it up, and it'll creep up. And uh, I think it about there is is going to be great. Um, but that's a, a very definite black to white transition there. But it's uh, so we'll, we'll just soften that. But it's a nice way, a nice quick way of um, of finding that level there. So we'll change it back from solid to linear, and we're going to add in another. And just another key there and change that to black. So it's doing pretty much the same thing as just before, but it's just put a bit of a, uh, a soft edge to that between the, the sand uh, and the other material. So black is going to be uh, where we put the sand. 